Yo, what's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video and this is going to be the gift cards to friends glitch. You can get free cars from friends. Remember the card duplicates. You're not just giving it. It's a duplication glitch so that means it could also be used for a money glitch but we don't really use it for that. All right, We just use it to trade cars around. It's a workaround. It's an after patch and it's very, very easy to do. Okay, shout out to the founders, whoever they are. I'm not sure. This glitch has been around for a little while now but shout out to whoever you are and uh yeah rest in peace kobe uh still thinking about you man still still raw but yeah so what you're gonna need for this glitch is you want to be in a free game session friends only i recommend public sessions you know tend to get a little bit chaotic obviously you need one friend with the car that you want okay and also an moc with the personal vehicle storage and you want to go ahead and throw an rh8 in there or a fagio both will work and like I said, if you're using this for a money glitch, you both need the same plates, okay? You both need the exact same plate in your iFruit account to be able to trade back and forth and actually sell those cars or else they're gonna come out dirty, all right? Just so you guys know. So once you've gotten everything, you're set up, you got a friend, you wanna go to this location. This is at the casino and it's over here by the garage. This is where we like to set up uh, our MOC. It's really nice and out of the way of everything. You know, because over there, if you do it in the parking lot, there's a bunch of cars and stuff, and that usually gets in the way. So we do it over here, and the main perspective is the receiver in this video. The friend is going to be in the top right. Okay, so what you want to do is the receiver. You want to grab your RH8 or Fagio out of your MOC, and you want to just park it behind the MOC to begin the glitch. Okay, so once your friend has the car out that they're going to be giving you, go ahead and tell your friend to get inside. Friend is in the top right. Friend opens the interaction menu. What you want to do is go ahead and hit right D-pad. You'll see that you'll be frozen. Count a few seconds and hold the reverse trigger. All right, then tell your friend to get out just like this and get back in. Okay, and you can let go of the reverse trigger, obviously, once uh, your friend gets out. But uh, yeah, and your friend keeps the interaction menu open the whole time while you go to the parking garage right here. Click on the parking garage, you should be stuck there. Go back to your dashboard, come back to the game, and you should be frozen. At this point, you want to wait here for roughly 45 seconds. That's how long we wait. Some people don't wait that long, like they wait like 30 seconds. I like to wait longer, okay? So the whole time your friend has the interaction menu up. Now after 45 seconds, you can go ahead and tell your friend to get out of the car. And what you should see is an animation of your friend still in the car uh, while you're going in the garage, even though you know your friend's not there. Okay, so now your friend in the top right just runs over by the MOC and chills right there by, by your blue circle. What you want to do is you'll be stuck on a black screen. So this is where, where you want to join a friend in a different targeting mode. Okay, so remember I said join, uh, be in a free aim session. Most people play an assisted aim. I'm going to go ahead and actually join somebody from the free aim community. You know, these aren't even people that are my friends. All right, I'm just going in and I'm able to join them just because I'm part of the community. So I'm going to teach you guys a trick on how to actually see if somebody's in the, the targeting mode that you need and uh, without you having to accept any alerts. So this third person here, I'm going to join once on them. Once I see the alert, I'm going to double tap and I'm going to join them again. OK, and you'll see I'll get a targeting mode. Now I just decline it and you should be in this weird state. Press pause, go to online. Don't go to purchase shark cards like I just did. You want to go to criminal enterprise starter pack and back out. You should see yourself. Just wait here. Eventually, you're just going to die. OK, there you go. Just like that. So once you've died, you're going to spawn back and there's only a couple more steps to actually finish up this glitch. OK, it's a really, really simple glitch and can be executed fairly quickly if uh, you guys know what you're doing. All right, so at this point, run back over to your MOC. Your friend should be standing there by your blue circle. And with the car, you see the car right there to the right? That's the one that I'm going to be getting, that Autark. So I want to go over to the blue circle. I want to hit enter alone, and that should take me to a black screen. Friend is no longer needed after this point. So on the black screen, we want to do targeting mode. I'm going to join the same guy. Join once, double tap, join twice, and I can decline the alert. And there we go. You see that? Now I'm invisible in OTR. Run over to the car you want, and once you hop in, it should spawn you in your MOC just like that. Okay, nice and simple, easy peasy, all right? That's the glitch, guys. Okay, so with this, like I said, you could trade cars back and forth. 
Uh, plates don't matter if you don't plan on selling the cars. But if you do plan on selling these cars, say you needed to give a friend a retro or uh, or any you know Benny's vehicle or or the uh, the Issy anything like that, so be able to get started duping. You guys need to make sure that you're giving each other a car that has the same custom plate in both your iFruit accounts. Okay. For example, if I'm trading a car with another one of my accounts and it has a Rolezy plate on it, I'm gonna go on both accounts and make sure the iFruit app has a Rolezy plate on both. And it will stay clean and you'll be able to sell them. Okay. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please like the video. Check out the channel. Check out all the other videos I've posted. I'll have more links over here. Subscribe if you're brand new and stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot more videos coming up. Peace.